Congratulations on the movie, you guys. You guys made me cry like a baby. You turned me hormonal this morning I was watching it. <laughs> <laughs> but all in a good thing. And seriously, I was not crying at, at, at a certain scene. I was just crying at the whole feel, mm. the love story. Yeah. Right? It's almost like Romeo and Juliet for this generation. I totally agree. That, you know, actually, Romeo and Juliet was a big part of my research for this film. Really? Yeah. You know, Baldwin is, you know, he's he's almost our version of Shakespeare. Right. Um, you know, so brutally honest, um, passionate, loving mm -hmm. um, in the way he writes. And then also, you know, just having a level of, of truth that really, really means something. Right. What about you, Miss What interested you in uh, joining the cast? Um, I mean, just As first... As an tish mm -hmm. <laughs> Well, just first James Baldwin and Barry Jenkins. Um, right. I knew it had to be something special, but then once I read the script and I read the book, I just thought it was amazing how it's this really beautiful, powerful love story. But because it's James Baldwin, you know, his ability to speak about these real issues and, you know, like, seeing those two things come together in such a, just a perfect way, I, I just had to be a part of it. It is like it's a love story with a keen eye on social injustice. Mm -hmm. Is what I think, mm -hmm. right? Absolutely. Uh, and you know, of course, like uh, Romeo and Shakespeare without the Montague and the Capulet, but mm -hmm. cops mm -hmm. and um, social and you know the, the judicial system. The mm -hmm. unfairness, Absolutely. Yeah, the unfairness. Um, so, how did you guys perf? You guys have fantastic chemistry. I mean, it's, it's interesting because we didn't really have a whole ton of time to develop Oh, anything. really? <laughs> just... So there you go. It's, it's real. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We should, I guess so. I mean, you, you just sort of have to dive in. And, and credit to Kiki, um, you know, sort of just understanding the weight of the material, the weight of Baldwin, um, and understanding that this whole film, this whole story really hinges on our relationship and, and making sure that people believe it. So I think it, it started there. I think we both accepted the challenge. It made me want, I, I downloaded the whole book. Oh, yeah. yeah, after I watch it, like, I have to read or oh, wow. listen to it at least on my way, flight back home. Yeah. Um, how does it compare? How uh, is this a good companion piece? Is the movie a good companion piece of the book, you think? Oh, yes. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> and let's talk about the dynamics, the family dynamics. Mm -hmm. I am Tish family, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you you you're team members. Team members. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm not team funny. Yeah, that's okay. that's <laughs> right? Let's talk about your family. It's amazing, I think. Um, it's a wonderful love. No, I mean it's it's so it's so beautiful and and also just so real. I mean, you know, Regina, Tiana, Coleman. I mean, that's my family for real, and I think that's why you know it came across so genuine on right. camera um, because that's really how they take care of me. Aww, <laughs> but we can understand the fun, the the phony the family, right? Yeah, I mean, I think, you know, I think there's so many families like that. You're right. You know, so many families where you're not really sure where you, you stand in it. And and luckily for Fani, he sort of had Tish's family that embraced him and brought him in as, like, their, like, mm -hmm. you know, adopted son, if you will. And, and, you know, it's just an incredible statement on what, you know, different families could look like. Yeah. All right, my last question. If Beale Street could talk, what would it say? Uh, if Beale Street could talk, I think... You know, I think that, that would be different for, for everybody. I think everybody would have a different answer because I believe that everyone has a has a Beale Street. And, mm -hmm. you know, the interesting thing about showing people this film is that there are different parts in the film that connect with people differently. And, and, and that's the best part about showing it is hearing what, you know, what people um, reacted to and what resonated with people. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You agree? Oh, yeah. And I, I, I definitely agree. And I just think, though, that it's going to be different for everyone, but I think it would it would be something about love. If Bill Me Street's, too. If Bill Street's talking, it's talking about It'll love. It'll be, it's time for love, right? Mm -hmm. Just like the Dave Frankel character. Yeah. <laughs> it's like one my magic moment of the film, I thought. It was kind of cute and mm -hmm. up, uh, uplifting. I agree, yeah. Thank you so much, <laughs> you guys. Congratulations thank again. You. Thank you. Appreciate it. And a big thank you. Yeah. <laughs>